What's up, YouTube? Back at shop two, just kind of prepping. If you didn't hear or see the thing I put on the community section, is that how that works? Uh, whatever the page is where you can post pictures and things. Uh, we're doing a chopper party up here, July 20th. So it's coming up quick. <coughs> so we've been scrambling up here outside of all of the other stuff, uh, working on the truck, working on whatever else, but scrambling to try and get this spot set up and ready to go. We got the dirt bike running. I'm hoping the new carb comes in and I can have that kind of dialed just as a little property bike to rip up and down the hill. Lots of cleanup. Dottie's been killing it on decorations and kind of finishing up the rest of the shop. We got the foam wall over there, all the stuff in the back started clearing out some of that. Um, clearing space, you know, these are gonna leave soon, but one big pile of garbage, plus that big old burn pile of cardboard stuff. I got the pontoon up here and flipped over. Needs a little bit of love, so Justin and I are gonna tag team that at some point. Reweld up any of the splits and cracks on this, then pull it down the hill, and by the 20th, that should be back in the water and floating. So we got a couple cracks up front too, so. We'll give this a thorough once over at some point soon. Got donated a Ford Explorer. It runs and drives, but that'll be kind of in the way for a little bit, but that's fine. And I pulled out the John boat. This thing, it floats, it works. It just smells like death. This is the boat that had all the fish in it. Or, oh, sorry, all the snakes in it. And something died in there, but it's got the aluminum seats that run all the way across. So we'll be cutting into same day we do this, we'll be grinding that out and we'll just put like two by eight or two by twelves wood seats with a hollow bottom so it doesn't acquire dead animals and smell like crap. But yeah, just jamming away. They made a nice little sign. It's going to be kind of the anybody that comes by, sign it, date it, whatever. Everybody will be here. Do not draw dicks, Kyle. You know what's going to be on this board? Lots of dicks, but just kind of jamming away. You know, uh, we got the truck running. I actually need to run down there. Yeah, let's take a walk, bring you guys along. So a couple little odds and ends left for cleanup. I'm gonna dump all of this waste oil, return the paint sprayer, and then one more small batch of electronic things to return. And then we got a porta potty up here for the ladies. I'll have to figure out the vehicle Tetris once it gets a little bit closer, but oh man, I love it up here, sunset-ish, end of the day. So I've just been ripping around on the John Deere, cutting all of this out, kind of mowing everything and then getting it prepped. I think we're doing a slip and slide where the targets are down there. No guns, this party, absolutely no guns, but uh, that's a perfect little hill for doing a little slip and slide. So we'll take a walk down to the water. It's way easier walking down than it is up. But uh, still some more mowing to do. Lots of mowing to do, actually. But I started going to town down here and carving out some bigger spots. We got a big fire that'll be going all night. Uh, food trucks coming. And... I don't know, slip and slide. I might try and raffle off Frankenstein if there's enough interest in it. We'll see what happens with that. But here's the new Pond Prowler boat that I was telling you guys about. I, at some point I mentioned it in one of the videos, but a couple of pieces of metal here. Those stairs will go back on the pontoon when we get that back. Here is the Pond Prowler with the aluminum foil tape trick. So that should be pretty much good to go and use. I haven't taken it out yet, but I've just been busy. I've been trying to get out here and enjoy the evening, but it's hard. So I got this kind of carved out down here now. I don't even know if I've brought you guys all the way down yet, but started carving away at some of this. I got a wood pile, backup wood pile here. We got tons of logs, tons of wood. This is gonna be a quick two pallet hot light it have fun and then we'll just kind of maintain it the rest of the night but started carving out all of this stuff back here 
critters everywhere. I don't know if that's a deer or a rabbit. Whatever. This is nature, right? So, if anybody is interested, July 20th, shoot me an email, wrenchingrecked at gmail.com if you're semi-local and want to come out. Should be a good time. Trying for one of those standard grassrootsy chopper parties of no drama and no BS. But we we'll the boats going so people can putz around on the water if they want. Char freshly charged batteries. We'll have fishing available. Oh, there's a bass that just jumped right over there too. All the snakes you can grab if you want to get crazy. But crystal clear water down here, so we'll get this one platform set up. We got a ton of floaties, ton of other stuff, and then from here is actually a better view up to the shop. So from down here that mode section right there coming up this corner off the corner i think that's where i'm going to try and put the slip and slide i'm not going out and buying a bunch of extra plastic but i do have most of a roll we'll see how far it gets down the hill and we've got a hose hook up up there so we'll have that all set up and rocking and rolling and then this is going to be the walking path and all the other stuff down here some more pallets and wood burnables are everywhere around here so walk into the forest there will be ticks there will be snakes there will be critters so you're coming out to stay in nature if you want to come out but this will kind of be the camping area around here i'm going to mow down a couple more spots over here and then probably take i don't know another 20 feet of this little small hill so everybody will kind of be condensed in this general area mini bikes would be awesome looking to rip those around too i started mowing a path but i ran out of gas uh it's basically all these branches are going to end up in the burn pile that night but this will all get moved mowed and then this runs all the way down the tree line up the hill and then back up to the other corner of the shop as well so looking forward to it this is our first time trying to do something bigger like this especially i mean we haven't had this spot that long but i want to I want to uh, be able to enjoy the property and get people out here and have a good time. So that's kind of where we're at. I needed to walk down here anyway just to move my truck. So I obviously didn't mow underneath this, but truck's running like a top again. That's where we're at. So like, comment, subscribe. I know it's a really, really weird short video. All those fun things. If you are interested, shoot me an email, wrenchingrack at gmail.com. I can send you guys the info. No problem doing that, but I'm also trying to get a rough head count of what to expect. It's gonna be just be kind of like that Whiskey River thing, minus the raffle and all the other stuff that he did over there and the endless booze. It's out of his mind, but uh, should be a good time. We'll have food trucks, we'll have a handful of drinks are available, but I'm not supplying everybody. That's BYOB per usual, but there's camping, fishing, swimming, all the other fun things, and hopefully a ton of choppers. I know there's a couple other events going on, Hell on Wheels, or not Hell on Wheels, uh, Full Tilt Boogie is going on up in Minneapolis. I got a bunch of buddies going up to that. But we're gonna be here anyway, so thanks for watching. We will catch you guys on the next one. See you tomorrow.